Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire. So last time we were dealing with quite a turbulent aftermath with how many rebels spawn, and we had to cancel subsidies for pretty much all, na all nations, all factories, but hopefully in this episode we can recover a little bit more and go to war with the Turkey, with the Turkey, with Turkey, because, well, we can still free the Balkans. We finally have our war justifications ready to go again. And yeah, this should be pretty good. However, uh, some comments, mostly be addressing my uh, subsidies and how I nuked my economy. I'm slowly trying to reopen, a, you know, factories and stuff. So that's the plan. Ooh, look at that. See, that's a lot of money gone. And I want to make sure we have at least a good stockpile of money before we go to any major war, like against the Germans or anything like that. Just because I do want to kill off the Germans. They're the only problem for me going to war with Ruthenia to take. East Galicia. <clears throat> I do want to go, with it, go to war with Turkey, though, so I can give Yugoslavia, Montenegro, the rest of Montenegro. But I, I want to save going to war with Germany. That would be, like, the last great war in this campaign, just because I want to build such a massive navy, such an extremely huge navy, though I can starve the Germans out, kind of like what happened in World War One, or that was the plan, at least. And I guess... Yeah, they're socialists, and they have the Commonwealth, and yeah, Britain, you're not feeling great. Uh, Sweden got Nigeria, that's interesting. Uh, actually, you could use an artillery piece. Where are you? Uh, there's some railroads we could build. Great. Get that boy, and send him right there. Cool. Can we, oh, we can build more railroads up. Nice. But I do want to make sure we have a good stockpile of money, so I am slowly reopening the economy. And, you know what? Uh... Go ahead and put some bureaucrats there. It's fine. Fine with me. We're making really an awkward, weird amount of money. It goes up. It goes down. Now we're really down. Now we're up. Now we're... Yeah. This is why I've got to wait a little bit before I put more subsidies in. Because my score went down by quite a bit. But now we're 2100 again. Which isn't bad. It wasn't as bad as the 980 score yesterday. So if we give it a little bit more time, we'll do okay overall. Which we're doing pretty okay right now. So I feel pretty good. And I also raise up education a little bit more. Do that maybe. Social spending. Oh, you're already set to high. And I'm building a massive amount of brigades. Probably 128 more brigades so we can divide them up and put them to in armies where they really need them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Romania, would you like an alliance? Romania. Son. Oh, we own core provinces. Come on, man. Oh, they beat him up. Cool. Get some XP, I guess. Fascists do deca. Coup de ta. Nice. Fully funded healthcare. I love it. Come on, make those brigades. I need those brigades really badly. I want to go to war with Turkey so badly, but... Actually, how much of... Uh, their military scores aren't really good. They have literally no industry. All roads lead to Petrograd. Petrograd. New store in NASA? Cool. Petrograd, my love. Now we're building up a massive amount of... Oh, look at all those brigades. Now we're at over 400. Awesome. Look at all these guys. Converging down. There's going to be a lot of infantry being built. And actually, I put it in two spots here. Just because supplies are going to get so bad. Um, excuse me, guys. Actually, just close. Put you in half. Send, like, half of them to come down here, maybe. <laughs> Kaboom! Great. So, let's divide them up into here. So, you have... That's too many artillery pieces. Uh, you need two infantry, two artillery. One, two. One, two. There you go. You're done. Congrats. Excellent. And we're trying to get some airplanes, too, which will be great. I'm going to send you down here. And then you are going to need one, ho one horse and four art infantry. One horse, four infantry. That actually doesn't look too bad, actually. One horse, two... I don't have any... Well, I'm gonna have a horse, but I'm gonna just make you something else. There you go. It's not bad. We need you over there. Take off one infantry from here. Stavropol. Great. And because we're gonna go to War Turkey, you're gonna come right there. Uh, actually, you're not gonna come right there. Ooh, yeah. There you go. Oh my goodness, you're looking really bad over there. Alright.
right, we might need a few more horses, actually. Just keep making more infantry. There you go. Hmm. There you go. 50 more. I just nuked that for a little bit. That's okay. Uh, British Commonwealth. Sure, you know what? I will allow you, because I do want to contest German hegemony. Incident in that area? Suppress? Yeah, let's suppress it. Suppression is always nice. You guys are looking too bad. Let's see. You could use an engineer and three more artillery pieces. I hope. Yep. And we need five infantry. Hey, five infantry! Great. Great, great, great. Not looking too bad around here. You guys are going to swap spots. You guys come down there. And then you guys come right there. Yeah, horse and four infantry. I make a lot of artillery. So I'll just come right there. Alright. You have three, and you need one and one. So you might as well take that off, I suppose. One. Wrong one. Great. One, two, three, four. Fourth army will come right there. Yeah, good, good. So we've got a bit of artillery. You need one engineer. Oh, oh you already have two engineers, so you need one artillery. One artillery and three horses. One, two, three. That'll help out. Right there. What do you... Oh, my goodness. You need three artillery, which is fine. We'll get it from this group. Great. You definitely need more infantry. Holy cow. But you're good enough to actually just combine with this group. Aeronautics, great. Denmark. Who are you allied with? France? The Germans? Oh, you know, that's Malta. No, that's a... That's, what the heck? Malta? Um, I'm okay for now, man. Ooh, there's some rebels down there. Let me see. Bulgaria? You might as well... Oh, I already have military access. It's good. You're socialist, which is really weird, but whatever. Uh, do I have a 60,000 stack? You know what? You guys can come over here. That's fine. I'll take this group out. I already have high military expenditure right now, so it doesn't even matter. We still have ironclads there. Oh, uh, they have a base. We might be able to build something up here. Yes. Uh, get a couple cruisers here. Maybe throw in a dreadnought as well. And then lots of these transport ships. Troop ships. They're the best screens possible. Great. All right, let's get some more guys in here. Norway. You are allied with France, yes. I'm glad, actually, France still has Alsace-Lorraine, because that just means... Oh, even more guys are coming up. That Germany might fight them, and France? They're not looking too bad. There's 653 military score. Just a little bit under Germany, but between me and Germany, we should do pretty well. We should do pretty darn well. All right, so that army's down there. Great. Kill them off. I want to make sure that the Greeks are still okay. <clears throat> there. Great. And once that's done, we're going to go straight to war as I still continue to build up our military once again, because we were hit so hard by all sorts of rebels. But you know what? It's 1916, and our education efficiency is at over 90%. Over 90% of our people can read. That's amazing. That's awesome. That's really... Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. Oh, you guys get over there. Nice. Over there. Great. Now, that's still too many guys here. Holy cow. So you need an engineer. Let's pull you down here. Nice. Army organization goes up. Do you have an engineer? Oh, you're nothing but infantry. You actually already have an engineer, which is nice. Pull this person off. Very cool, very cool. So, <clears throat> now I might as well take that horse. And that means three, seven. Seven infantry. Three, four, five, 
six, seven. Oh, really, eight. Great. Oh, no, I don't want you. There you go. Three armies. Let's make it four down here. That's fine. Food supply is still pretty bad. Uh, dismantle un unused brigades. It's fine. What are we going to do here? Let's take off. That's six, seven, eight. 11. Take you off. You are looking a little better. Put you up there. You still have too much infantry, though. Take off a horse. Not too much. There you go. And they are where? Are they not moving? Oh. Cool. So you need an engineer. Take off a horse, like I said. Oh, you already have that. Take off the horse. Send you down. Probably right there. Do you need a horse? No, you don't. Do you need a horse? No, no, you don't. Do you need a horse? No, no, you don't. I'm not really good on horses. Hold on. We'll find someone who needs a horse. What are you guys doing? No, you're doing okay over there. I'm going to send you right there then. Even though your arms are looking pretty god dang battered. Holy crud. No, oh, you need a horse. Found one. Who needs a horse? And there you go. You actually could use an infantry dude. So just take it off of him. No, there's no infantry there. It's fine. Give me an infantry. Never know if China might get up at Oh, wait. We do some research. Indirect artillery fire. That stuff is okay. Drilling and blasting. Oh, you know what? Let's get some commerce. Maybe some more tax efficiency sounds pretty good to me. Tax the crud out of them. Cool. Cool, cool. Let's, let's get this army to get a little more strength first, and then we'll go to war. Three, two, one. Good enough for me. Free the Balkans. I'm not going to call them my allies. I'm going to... Ooh, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Montenegro. Oh, hold on. So, they only own this part. <clears> hmm. <throat> I think Montenegro would be better, even though I want to give it to Yugoslavia. Not sure why I can't give it to Yugoslavia, but we'll do Montenegro. Maybe they can unite with each other. I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna call in my allies here. Because if I call in Germany, they're not gonna say yes. And if I call in everyone else, they'll just probably say yes anyways. Cool. Hmm. Greece probably wants to do that too. Cool. Awesome. Anyone else wants to join? Anyone else? Oh, yeah. Let's get these guys in there going. I don't know about their navy, but you know what? Even ironclads still aren't that bad. Do that for now. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose a little bit of money, whatever. Not going to be that much. And once this part is done, I'm just going to you know, move them around. Cool. I don't think it's going to take that long to kill all the Turks. Awesome. And what do you need? You need a horse and... A, oh, God dang it. Horse and infantry. Oh, that's artillery. Rasputin telegram. When the bell tolls three times, it will announce that I have been killed. If I am killed by common men, you and your children will rule Russia for centuries to come. If I am killed by one of your stock, you and your family will be killed by the Russian people. Pray, Tsar of Russia. Pray. Uh. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Infantry horse. Yeah, that doesn't sound really good for us. But, whatever. We should be able to beat 3,000 guys there. Should be able to. Money, we're doing a little better, actually. We're not nearly as low. Cool. Slowly taking over the coast. Oh, that's a... Actually, that's a pretty big army. That's nice. Cool. Keep them in mind as we encircle them. Steel production? Awesome. I love the steel production. Admiral? Okay, let's take a good look at this. So, who has... Actually, a lazy... Only place that has out of work craftsmen. That's not bad. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. We're doing a lot better now, guys. We're doing actually a lot better. That's awesome. Ooh. Just in case, I definitely want fuel. That's pretty important to me, so do that. I definitely don't want to attack. You might. What type of terrain is here? You might be able to want. Oh, grassland hills, defense one, moving cost. Um, we'll see what happens. 
So this side's doing pretty darn well. You might be able to do well. Yeah, you you yeah, you're doing really well right there. Nice. Cool. They want to do that. All right then. Turkey. Uh, you know what? That's okay with me. We still want more time to liberate stuff. And the faster we do that, whoops, I clicked a button. The faster we go back to peace, the faster we can go back to war later on. Cool. And now Montenegro's here, but hmm. I wish there was a way for me to, like, integrate them into Yugoslavia. That'd be amazing if I could. That's okay. Go to Agdam. You guys come right there, because that's good enough. You guys come right there. Uh, you probably actually won't go right there. Where's a good place for supply? There you go. Nice. And now we can lower our... You know what? Let's get rid of these guys. I probably don't need them, for, need them again. Do that. Do that. Do that. Now we can make some serious bank. Oh my goodness. We're three in the, we're third in the world. Great. Actually, for you guys, just all come to Sevastopol. Now, if we go to war with Turkey again, uh, which we probably will, I'm going to try to take their capital, maybe. Thrace? I probably can't. That would be cool if I could. Decline of the West and Lost Generation. Ooh. Oh, buddy boy. That's not good. Great. Let's lower our infamy first because... Oh! They did it! They did it! I love it! I love HPM sometimes. Look at that. They actually integrated Montenegro. I love you, my friends. I love it. Civil violence. Intervene eventually. I don't really care about what happens there. Secondary power. Let's continue increasing relations with Austria because they could be used against Germany as well. I'm thinking about establishing a massive coalition between me and Ger between me against the Germans, which I will go to war with them. That, Like I said, that's my main goal. Uh, take out two guys here. Does anyone need 6,000 more infantry? Yeah, you guys do. So that's 2,000, that's 3,000, 4, 6 more. 6 more infantry is needed. Let's see. 1, 2, 6. Cool. Actually, what type of Cassus Bella do we get against the Germans? That's a good, that's a very good question to ask. But we have to dissolve our alliance first. Uh, investment banks. As long as we're still allied, no one's really going to push us around, so. Uh, Army-wise, and infiltration. Ooh, stormtrooper training, I like that. What can we do now? African farms and mines. So, street, steam and combustion engines as well as electricity and railways are promoting nothing short of a revolution in certain places of Africa. New places are cleared for bigger plantations and mines are expanded with unprecedented speed. With the proper incentive, we can speed up this process in a few key areas, greatly expanding the size of our nation, or mine, and farms in Africa. Cool! Hmm. I could beat up China again, but they're actually westernized already, so that might not be a good idea. You need an artillery piece. And luckily for them, we have an amazing amount of artillery, which we eventually want to get rid of and replace with tanks. Now, I don't have much experience with tanks, but I think they replace artillery, which would be a good thing. Yeah, get some guys on that line there. Oh boy, what's going on? Oh, we've attacked the enemy there, yeah. Yeah, declared independence. Great. Let's see, demobilize, cool. So what type of armies need help down? Oh, down here. E5. Oh, you guys come right there. Oh, you need two. Two artillery. And three infantry. Two artillery, three infantry. Two artillery, three infantry. Two artillery. Gotta make sure the Chinese armies are nice and stocked. Two artillery, three infantry. I'm doing this just so that I don't ever, ever have to mobilize, because that really hurts your economy, I've heard. Before we do anything else, how are you guys doing? Doing well? Yes, very nice, very nice. Bureaucrats are needed there. Anything over here? No. Ooh. Bureaucrats are doing okay. Doing okay there. Can I do anything down here? I wish I could have taken more colonies, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you guys are still working on that, okay. You guys are still trying to become more conservative, which is actually working a little bit, which is kind of nice. It is finally actually working, which is good, so that hopefully, if they're conservative, they don't really rebel nearly as much. And I don't really have to send armies down there, or, you know, navies, task forces, whatever you call them. Birds. Hey, I'm joined here with my cat. He just barged in my room. Binky. Bink. 
actually. Over here. How's this fleet looking? We have only three treadnoughts. What? Three? I need more. Why do we have a frigate? What the heck? Get some more frigates. Or, not frigates, dreadnoughts. That'd be good. Ah, uh, baby, you doing okay? You got sunshine? Uh, support the movement. That looks, sounds like a good idea. You need one artillery. Or engineer. Can only discontent. No concessions to threaten violence. So one engineer, one horse. Oh, infantry. What? You want my chair? What the heck? Come on, Bink. Come on. All right. Well, we'll grab one of you guys and pull off. Do we have some? Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. All right. Do we have any engineers? Cool, we do. Awesome. Primzial. Cool, go right there. You are looking pretty bad. They need six artillery pieces and two infantry. Six artillery pieces and two infantry. So we got the two infantry. Six artillery pieces. Actually, just grab it down here. Six. There you go. Costs and let the move cool. Wow, my cat Binky likes to lick himself quite loud, loudly. So we need six infantry, six artillery, six and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, an attempt on Rasputin's life during a visit to his home village. While exiting a church, Rasputin was attacked by a man. The man stabbed him in the belly three times before Rasputin managed to escape, running down the street with his hands on his belly. The man chased him, but Rasputin grabbed a stick from the ground and hit him on the head. Covered him with blood, Rasputin was brought into the church. After ten hours, a doctor arrived from the neighboring village and operated on him in the middle of the night. Rasputin stayed days under heavy guard, and the man who attacked him was never found, but he recovered. He started drinking, his paranoia increased, and eventually he was asked to leave the service of the Tsar, which he did despite the royal family protesting and lived the rest of his life as a hermit. Nobles still went work went looking for him, asking for advice, <clears throat> excuse me, and then he left his public image somewhat redeemed. Ooh. Which is quite interesting. Quite interesting. Especially as I finish my Russian coffee here. Cool. What do you need? <clears throat> excuse me. Three artillery, one infantry. Three artillery, three artillery, three artillery, one infantry. Cool. Three artillery, so we have one down to the. So two artillery. Cool. Alright. Uh, I know this is just. It's a little tedious trying to make sure that we have enough of uh, you know, strength down here, but it's kind of needed, so. Sorry if you're uh, not enjoying as much as, as other episodes. Even though we did go to war earlier, so. Alright, can we get any more subsidies for people? Yes. I'm reluctant to open all factories up right now. Because even though I like doing that... We still wait a little bit. Cool. We have a little bit of money, so... Yeah, that'd be good. <clears throat> I mean, people can find work. There's no problem with work. Our core population, or population total, is almost 200 million people. That's amazing. And I love it. Great. Alright. Let's see. What other groups still need help? We have three artillery there. That's nice. So we got one, two, three, four. You guys need what? An artillery piece. Great. You all need... Oh. Uh, some German tanks. That's not good. Three infantry. That is not good to see. Hmm. Let's get one army in Kiels as well. That'd be good. Alright, let's go make this. Take out... Well... Let's take out a bunch. 
How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All this infantry is going to come here. Why are you guys just can't, kind of sending it around? I don't know why you're just sitting there. Doesn't make any sense, but whatever. So you need to come down here. You give me a horsey boy. Let's see what that does. Cool. So we need two artillery. I'm actually going to send you to Europe, or Europe, Vladivostok, because that's pretty good to send you to. Good. We have a lot of troop transports there. Holy cow. Nice. Oh, wow, Romania. You have a lot of fascists around there. Uh, you might as well do that. I know we don't have full strength right now, but whatever. Help them out a little bit, even though they don't really like us that much. They're a bunch of weirdos down there. Alright, so we need nine. Cool. Send you guys right there because we need another army against Germany. Give me a horsey boy. Oh, actually, that's true. That horsey boy. Uh, go that way. Nice. We still. Oh, we can make 200 more brigades. A little less than 200. Cool. 10 artillery pieces. Oh, do we have. Oh, maybe we don't have artillery. Oh. You're telling me we need more artillery. Oh, heck yeah. Asia? Probably not Asia. Europe. There you go. We'll make some more. That'd be good. And you guys can probably go that way. Come home. Go up there and then come home. You, though, need a horse. A horse and five artillery. Five infantry. One. One, two, three, four. This is all planning for the future. Oh, don't tell me we have unemployed people. No, we don't. What are you talking about? Everyone has a job in Russia. Nineteen seventeen. Potentially have quite a few rebels. That's okay. That's pretty normal, honestly. Very nice. Artillery peoples. Yeah, we can really, we can really use some more artillery. Go ahead and give me those three. Nice. All right. Good. 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 Let's check over here. You guys are looking pretty good. You guys. Oh. You need. Oh, what do you need? One and one. One artillery, one infantry. That's fine. We'll just take him off this guy for now. Cool. And you need... Let's see. Three, one. Two and one. Two infantry, one artillery. We almost have infiltration. Those Asian armies really need it. Kotan. Mm, looking pretty good. Trading privileges questioned. We should open the colony up to free co competition between any and all traders. Sure. Sounds good to me. I don't want to read the other options because I don't feel like reading. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's good being Tsar. That's great being Tsar. I want to do this. 1919, huh? Oh, that's next year. Let's get some indirect artillery fire because that will help us with our wars quite a bit. Great. Ah, uh, who? Mm 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 mm. I'm really reluctant to do that. How much are we spending on subsidies? 8,000? Hmm. I can afford like 5,000 more. How many are... Uh, I really don't want to open up everything, and we don't really need to, so... There you go. Should be good. We should be very good. Especially as we're making more and more artillery. More divisions, brigades. Ooh, we got some fascists down there, maybe. Yugoslavia, suppress us now, of course. Suppression is nice. Suppression is very good. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Let's talk Navy. Let's, oh god, we actually, oh god, we gotta build more forts. But, I'm thinking here, Naval-wise, where do we have, you are a port? I wanted you to do that. Oh, no wonder you guys are coming there. I clicked on the wrong button. That actually makes a lot more sense. You can't actually tell if they have the little blue marker on them, which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, it kind of does suck. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah, build that up too. And do that too. Cool. Let's see. Naval wise, no distinction of class. Good. We're gonna make even more ships. How many ships can we hold? Actually, that's a good question to ask. I'll focus on the forts off screen. But, let's see. 
Our navy has a total of 212 ships. Total supply is two, almost 3,000. We have a limit of 28 battleships or 23 dreadnoughts. Interesting. What is this? British Commonwealth. This included Puerto Rico. They're independent? Huh. Well, we still gotta build up quite a bit more of a buffer. But in any case, you should start building up a fleet here. We're gonna build... Oh, I don't know. One, two, three. Oh, not a frigate. One, two. And then start building up a lot of cruisers. Six, seven, eight. And then build... Uh, I don't want to build it there just because that's going to interfere. And actually don't put them on here because that might distract ships that we're building in Vladivostok to come to Petrograd, which we don't want. Tensions dissipate. Great. It's 1918. Hope you're having a great year, my friends. It's 19. Oh. Thessaly. Uh, what's going to happen here? Oh, we're actually over our ship capabilities. Okay, well, that's okay. Um, ooh, that's not good for us. Huh. Interesting. Well, let's see. Let's see this crisis first. Greece? Al Albania? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm back in the Greeks on this. France, no! France, no, 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 no. That's not a good idea. Let's see. Is leaning towards them? Uh, do you want anything from them? Humiliate? They will not accept. Cut down to size. Germany? Uh... You can, yeah. Well, let's see. And Italy, what do they want? Oh, yeah, that's nice. Sweden. Why are you a great powder? Powder? Great powder. Why are you a great power, Sweden? Actually, this side. Okay, that that's good. That's better. Whew. Don't want to go over my limits. I'm not sure why limits do much, but whatever. Yeah. I don't mind... Us getting hit a little bit, that's fine. Build that up, I guess, that's fine, whatever. Uh, we already have chairs down there, so get some clothes up here. That'll be good. No unemployment. Unemployment is a myth. We got Germany, me and Germany, versus these guys. Uh, Sweden. Leaning towards supporting them. They just hate us a little bit more than they hate the French. Cool. Oh my god, that's a lot of guys here. You leave. Uh, you guys come up there. That helped out. Okay, cool. So you need three infantry and nine artillery. Three infantry. So you got nine artillery, so that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do that for now, that's fine. Uh, we need two infantry. Cool. I mean, if we go to war with France, I really don't want to go to war with the French. I don't think it's really worth going to war with them. Oh, and the Germans even are stacking up a lot of guys there. Come on, peace out, boy. What if we offered them? Place in the sun? No? Humiliate. That's going to cost us three infamy. That's okay. Nice. Propose a solution. Oh, we can humiliate them right now. And we'll get 40, almost 43 prestige. Great. Yeah, don't do that. But I will immediately increase relations with you. Oh. You went socialist. Hmm. Fascist newspaper. Uh. I guess middle class. I don't know. Someone's going to turn fascist there, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, low echelon fire support. Great. British Commonwealth, they have the Irish out here too, that's okay with me, whatever. Oh my goodness. I might turn fascist, I don't know, might turn communist, I don't know, we'll see what happens. That's, that's not bad, actually. Let's get rid of a lot of the infantry, though. Get rid of some of these horses. 
cool. And what are we left with here? Let's see, we get rid of one of these guys too. Even though you can't support all that stuff, that's still okay. You will eventually, because we're built we're just popping out babies like there's no tomorrow. Okay, come right there. Good. Hey look. More ships. Oh, we even have dreadnoughts down there, that's awesome, even though like, we can't get out of here. That's okay. So you guys looking pretty good. So you have two of these guys. Great. So we need just a bunch of artillery. New store. Awesome. Seventeenth Nobel Prize in Physics. Great. A great honor for the study of physics in our nation. We need five more artillery pieces, which we have enough of. One, two, three, four, five. Great. And that they'll deal with that later. Cool. Forts, anyone? Yeah, maybe Poland should get some forts. That that sounds like a smart idea. Get rid of the worst troublemakers. Anywhere else? The common man, crackdown on radicals, communist support. Yeah, let's make sure people don't become more communists. We're doing pretty well. We must free our brethren in Tanu Tuva someday. But today might not be that day, or ever, in this campaign. We'll see what happens. Great. Great. Nice. Good. It's almost 1919. I want to do something relatively cheap. Let's get some compound steam engines. That'll be good for us. That'll be very, very good for us. Good. And who do we have left here? That's a lot of artillery. That's a ton of artillery. So we have eight, three. We need a horsey boy, which is right there. Let's grab one of them horsies. Cool. Oh, actually, you have one too many artillery infantry. Uh, except you come back over here. Cool. And you now need seven artillery pieces. Great. Now, what I'm trying to do is make sure that each tile I have with Germany is covered. So this one, we need a few more armies around here as well. Oh, we have 61,000 people here. Well, that's okay. Some mistakes were made. Fight them here? Yeah. That's fine. Making plenty of money. Unemployed people? What the heck? Oh, Clorex, maybe? No? Wait, who do we have in unemployment? In Georgia. In Bayushinland. Oh, let's go to name. Bayushinland. Bessarabia. Cool. Hold on. What's going on down here? You guys come that way. Oh, we have another fleet down here. That's actually really good. Great. Oh, man. You really need more infantry. Holy cow. Grab some forts. That's fine. Grab some forts. Oh, nice. Great. Uh, ooh. Oh, man. We finished up that so a little faster than I expected. Let's just do associationism. That We should be able to blow through that pretty darn quickly. Look at that population. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, we have elections. Or upper house rearranged, not elections. Now, what is this? Puerto Rico entered an alliance with the British Commonwealth. I'm glad the world's not on fire right now, but we'll see what happens. What do I do to it? Let's get 10. Nice. Well, it's a little more than 10, actually. Grab you. Come over here. Great. And now we need 7 infantry. That's a lot of guys. Seven infantry. So, I'm just going to do something pretty easy. There. Africa, Asia. Make some more of them. Make some more of these guys as well. Oh. Make some more of these guys. And near east. Cool. And let's go ahead. Is there an ally with the Italians? I don't like that. Ooh, let's increase relations with you guys. That'd be good. Sweden. Nice. Increase this. Army XP. Great war experience. <clears throat> Rear supply dumps into our cavalry. Into war. Oh, let's get some tanks. That'd be great. Great. 
So, Morocco's... Morocco. Carlos Spain's not having a good time. We're allied with these guys. The French. They're a public dictatorship. Okay, well, whatever. Good luck with that, guys. You guys are what? You need a horse. You guys already have a horse. You need our infantry. Just give me all the infantry you got. Awesome. New structure. Great. Alright, cool. So you guys still aren't done yet. That's okay. Uh, pull out this army. I want to make sure that this is completely covered first. We only need one towards the Balkans since the Balkans are pretty peaceful. Oh, look. Shippies. Ooh, can we actually make shippies here? Are we... Oh, don't tell me they all went down to... Ooh. Hmm. Actually, let's double-check this. 57? Oh, it's only 57. It's not bad. Oh, I told you all to come here. Oh. Well, whatever. I still have a frigate there. Whatever. Hmm. 70? Yeah, I'm going to split this guy in half, probably. That would make more sense, split these guys in half. Uh, Russian Free Corps? Uh, so be it, whatever. Let's split this guys in half. One, two, three. Uh, we'll make it four. We could probably get a few more Dreadnoughts in this one, so that's okay. Oh, take a battleship, too. Take a bunch of these guys. And take some Triple Transports to be active in your screens. Cool. This, this isn't a great... Oh, this isn't a great fleet, but... Give me one more troop transport right here. We'll expand that. Good. Should come out pretty soon. Because then we can build up these ships here some more as well. You know, you already have six battleships. That's not bad. Hmm. Tensions dissipate. Great. It's only 1919. Yeah, we took that thing off, which is good. The seventh Olympic Games. Great. Uh, let's see. Factory costs. Cool. Cool. Heavy armaments are coming along. New store in some place. We don't believe in unemployment here. Awesome. We're doing very, very well, my friends. Very, very well. Let's see. You guys got that many ships. You guys could really use more troop transports, to be honest. And then you guys... Yeah, maybe not a monitor. There you go. <clears throat> it's not bad. Cool. I see you guys need four infantry. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, two, three... And we're going to do the unthinkable right now. We're going to break our alliance with the Germans. Can I ally someone else? Maybe I can ally the... No? Well, increase relations regardless. Oh, yeah, America. Sure, why not? Yeah, you... Austria just looks so bad. Eventually, uh, two engineers, that's fine. Let's see, let's pull out some guys here. So you have ten, which is okay. Let me pull off seven infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool, another 60,000 stack. Great. So this is all covered, which is good. We could still use, you know, more guys here. Great. You even have a little fleet here. I love it. I love the little fleets. Cool. Oh, Morocco's there. Oh, Spain is not doing well. But then again, when does Spain do really well? And you know what? We're going to manually decrease our relations with the Germans again. Because even though... Oh, they're second in the world now? Okay, interesting. I'm still first, so... And we're going to go with a... Ooh, digging cap. I like the digging cap. Great work experience, though. We're going to do that one next. That's a lot more morale. Holy cow. But... Ooh... That's pretty much all the time for that we have today, my friends. Tomorrow, we are probably going to get into a, a, a slight conflict between me and the Germans, and hopefully we can pull out successfully and do very, very well. But we'll see what happens. 
But if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow when we have a great time with the Germans. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.